Hey everybody, it's Nikki again. I'm here to do part two of my Freestyle Libre. It's gonna be part one, actually. Um, my Freestyle Libre review, I guess, um, because first of all, this is personal experience, not to be used as medical advice. Um, and I'm doing this because when I set out to do the last video, it took me eight and a half minutes <laughs> to get to the point. Um, that's over the top. So <clears throat> I'm gonna give you the abbreviated version. I do think that there was some important information in that one. So I actually will post it. Um, and if anybody wants that important information, they can get it. And if not, they don't need to look at that. Um, I was gonna show you, here is my Freestyle Libre. I'm on day 10. So this one has been run through and it's now stuck. Normally I do not need to use that adhesive. Normally I put a little bit of my uh, skin tack and this thing is pretty good. As I said in the other video, I bumped it a couple times. That is true. One of them came out, um, they replaced it. Um, so that was really nice. And this is basically, this is your reader. Uh, this is difficult. Okay, that's your reader. And this is gonna remind me to, you know, that my sensor is almost done in seven hours. But normally it doesn't show you that screen. Normally it just takes you right to your blood sugar. Um, it's that easy. You push the button and you scan it. And then you have options in here to go through and look at your daily history. And, you know, it's got a couple, a couple of uh, historical pieces of information. Um, my totals, I compared this up against my Guardian sensor um, and my Relyon BG meter. All of the thoughts about those things are in the other video if you wanna see it. If not, I will just let you know that three categories I chose um, to analyze 30 days worth of data for the Libre. Um, four sensors is how many sensors I went through in that amount of time. They're supposed to be good for 10 days each. I did knock one out. And then I did stop on the fourth sensor four days in. So there was nothing wrong with that one. I just, I just stopped collecting data. Um, and my total values were um, for, oh, sorry, three categories. I compared um, the Libre and the Guardian. How many of the values were within 15% of my BG rating? That was category one. I felt like that was kind of a reliability area um, as far as how often it was within 15%. Um, the second category was what percentage of scores did the Libre score closer to my actual BG um, than my Guardian? So that was a very specific category, but I was really looking at accuracy um, and, I, and, and whether, and I was looking at how accurate it was in comparison to the Guardian and there was a surprising result. So it ended up taking on its own category. Um, and then the third category was the percentage of discrepancies from the BG reading that were greater than 20 points. Um, so for instance, if my uh, BG was 100 and my uh, Libre read a 138, that was greater than 20 points. Um, <clears throat> and that, that area right there, it can hit on accuracy issues. Okay, from time to time, I just have a, a bad reading. But in general, in my experience, if there is a discrepancy greater than 20, it's usually a result of the lag. And what I was looking at is how well does the Libre handle the lag um, in comparison to the Guardian. And it feels like it handles it really well. So, um, and my Guardian, not so much. So I did want to look at that category and I'll give you the results right now. Um, first category, there were a total of 272 values that I took over the 30 days. Um, the percentage that fell within 15% of my BG for my Libre were, was 79%. So 79% were within 15%. Um, and there was an additional amount, maybe even as much as you know, 88 or 89 percent that were within 20 percent. Um, my guardian, on the other hand, there were 256 total values. Um, 64 percent of them fell within 15 percent of my BG. Um, if this gets confusing, and you need, you know, send a comment, and I will, I will explain. Um, so basically, in that category, the Libre outperformed my Guardian, and it was 79% was within 15% of my BG, whereas my Guardian, it was 64% of my values fell within 15% of my BG rating. Category two, what percentage of the scores uh, were uh, where the Libre was closer to my BG than the Guardian? Um, there were a total of 248 scores that I could compare and out of those 144, um, the Libre was closer and that put it at 58%. And that one really surprised me too. So it wasn't just uh, more reliable. I'm, I'm going to be careful saying that. It didn't just uh, outperform in that 15% category, but it also appeared to be more accurate 
58% of the time. Um, 30 days worth of data. There was, I'll show you my things. There was a lot of data. Um, and the last category was the percentage of discrepancies greater than 20. Um, again, this was to look at the lag. My guardian is like a dinosaur when it comes to lag. Um, the leave rate is faster. So this one didn't, didn't surprise me as much. A total of 272 uh, values, 55 of which were greater than 20 points off of my BG. Um, so that meant that 20% of the values were outside of that 20 points off. Um, the Guardian, there were 256 total values, 82 of which were greater than 20, and that put the Guardian at 32% were outside of 20 off my BG. Um, I showed you guys this in the other video, but these were, you know, these are 30 days worth of data and carefully calculated. Um, I'm not a researcher and I'm not a scientist, I'm not anything. I'm just doing this because I enjoy doing it mostly. Um, and I like these devices and I like to know what they're actually doing for me. Um, I think that's it. And all faster that I even got to the data. <laughs> um, I'm looking to add. That's it. Hope you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, let me know and I will send you a response that's like that long. Bye.